y'all, my name is Carissa. This is the Fat Girl Flow channel and today we are doing a wide width shoe haul with Wider Studios. I rarely get the opportunity to do shoe hauls and especially not ones made for babes with wide width feet. So I'm really, really excited about this. I want to jump in and tell you about Wider and then we can get to trying on all the shoes. Wider Studios has seen the problem that women have had with wide width shoes and is working to address it. One of the incredible things about Wider Studios is that their outsoles are actually tested up to 440 pounds that means that they are super super durable for plus size people I love this I had never even considered that shoes should be tested for weight before reading about wider so this is a huge plus to all of the fat babes out there I highly recommend following the Wider Studios shoe fit guide to find out what size shoe you are I have been buying 10 wide for years and years and years and it turns out I am a solid nine wide in these shoes. I think that a lot of us are sizing up in our shoes because we don't have enough width in there. So before buying any wider studio shoes, definitely follow their sizing guide and find your true measurement with them. Their outsoles are also slip resistant, which means you don't have to worry about busting your ass. And the insoles are made with a bamboo fiber that helps wick away sweat and it keeps odor and moisture off of your feet. Now, because it is springtime, I am trying on more spring styles, but they do have boots, wide width boots. They are, they are absolutely beautiful. They are so cool. I personally love their cowboy boots. I think that they are beautiful and I cannot wait to snag a pair. The first shoes that I tried on, I have to admit y'all, I have been so nasty about ballet flats. Sean Taylor, uh, who I know already knows that I have been kind of talking shit on ballet flats lately because she was wearing them and I was like, what are you doing our ballet flats back? I don't know if I can handle this. Uh, I was wrong. I was so wrong. These Skylar ballet flats are so comfortable and <sighs> It feels so 2000s to be wearing them, but that is what's happening. The trends are coming back around and they are so comfortable. These ballet flats have a really cute gold applique on the front and they are truly so comfortable. I have to apologize a thousand times to Sean Taylor because she was right. These are cute and stylish and I am glad that they are back because they are so comfy. I had forgotten that ballet flats just like, they do something for your feet. I love a shoe that is on the ground and these ballet flats are really doing it. I also just really like the faded blue jean color. I know that a lot of us are stuck in the 2000s with our ballet flat assumptions. So some of the styles that I think would be really cute with ballet flats are shorter skirts, things like sweaters and jeans. You don't have to go all the way to the flare leg jeans and hanging out lace tank top to wear a ballet flat. You can wear them with all of the outfits that you're wearing today and still look super, super cute. The next shoe that I tried on was the Fable Slingback. Now, I am a person who gets a little bit confused about what to wear heels with, but I put them on with these jeans, which I tried on with everything, and I was really shocked at how much I like them. I like them with a simple rolled up jean. You want to kind of show off the shoe a little bit, and I think that so many of us, especially with heels, if you grew up in the era of flare leg jeans, we are used to wearing heels to kind of elongate and heighten our legs instead of to show off the shoe. And I love the idea of not wearing things that cover the heel. Wearing shorter skirts, rolling up your jeans, even wearing a gaucho with the slingbacks I think is a perfect way to wear these. 
The next ones that I tried on are the Darcy Platform Sandal. These are so comfortable. The heel feels so sturdy underneath me, and that is always a little bit surprising to me because I'm kind of like a baby giraffe on heels. But these felt really, really sturdy, and I felt confident and comfortable in them. They are kind of a disco metallic color, and they are really, really fun. The Sam Lucky Penny Loafer is decidedly me and my intern's absolute favorite favorite shoe from this haul. They are a beautiful red burgundy color. You can kind of see um, in the up close pictures, but it's a little bit harder to see in our try on. They are just the most beautiful loafer and they are so comfortable. Again, I think that these would be really, really cute with a funky sock. I was actually thinking these might even be cute with like an athletic sock and rolled up jeans. I am obviously a jeans girl. I want to show off these shoes so bad and I'm trying to think of ways to show off the shoe but they would also be perfect with any kind of skirt. The floral wrap skirts that are coming back into style would look perfect with these loafers with socks on. They would just be absolutely, ooh, so sweet. When I saw the caramel woven slides, I knew that that was what I was gonna be wearing for the rest of the summer. You can see in the try-on when I move my feet, they just move perfectly with my feet. They are so comfortable. This is one of the shoes from the Wider Studios line that really feels like it sings the praise of those insoles. It is just the most comfortable sandal and it is absolutely beautiful. I am going to be wearing these with damn near everything that I wear all summer long. They are truly, truly so comfortable. One of the coolest things about Wider Studio shoes is that all of them come with a pair of insoles. So all of the insoles are removable. They all are five millimeters thick foam. And when you get your pair of shoes, you will get a bag with insoles in it. If you find that your feet need just a little bit more room when you get your shoes, you can swap out the five millimeter insoles that come in your shoes for the three millimeter insoles that come in the box with your shoes. Now there are some shoes that actually come with the thinner insoles and thicker insoles like the loafers. I love this. You can tell these are for the loafers and it, you can see that their insoles are actually made for each shoe. So you can tell the difference in shape from these two insoles. This one's for the ballet flat, this one is for the loafer. That just kind of adds a custom fit to all of Winder Studios shoes. This means that if you have a little bit more volume in your feet, you are able to change out the soles so that your shoes can fit absolutely perfectly. You'll find even with your open toe and slingback styles, there is a insole padding insert. These have a sticky back to them. So if you need a little bit more of an insole, even on your slingbacks and open toe shoes, they come with those. You can shop all of these styles at widerstudios.com. Remember, it's W-Y-D-R. A huge, huge thank you to Wider Studios for sending these over. It is so important for the plus size community to be supporting brands that are really, really thinking about us and being thoughtful about what we are putting on our bodies. And all of our body's comfort starts with our feet. Lord above, I am damn near 40 years old. I just had my 39th birthday. <laughs> Thank you, happy birthday to me. Um, and listen, your shoes are incredibly important. You need good shoes, you need solid shoes, they matter. The more you are in your shoes, which once you're 40, you are usually working a 40 hour a week job, you are on your feet, these things matter, they are part of taking care of ourselves. So make sure you support companies that want to take care of you back. Let me know what your favorite pair was down in the comments below and until next time, be kind to yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye.